Hey guys, show you vlog number 69. So basically, it's been about what two weeks, three weeks since uh, Thanksgiving when they broke into my car and stole all my um, donations and stuff to uh, the food banks. So, long story short, is I did donate to the food banks later, but the main thing I found out was that my I really hated carpet in the in the cargo section of my car because glass takes forever to clean out a carpet. I wanted to get a, a a liner and I decided to get a liner um, that's similar to the Husky liners I had. I'll leave a few links below for other liners for the Chevy Volt. Uh, but at the same time, what I did was that for the time being was got a Civic liner that I had laying around because I, you know, my brother doesn't want to use that Civic liner. I don't know why. So I decided to modify this liner to fit the Chevy Volt. It's almost perfectly fits. Well, not really. All I need to do is poke a hole for um, the spare tire mount, the little nut. And you know, so I can mount the tire and also cut off those two wings, and I could use it. So why waste you know money when I already have a liner? I also fixed um, those those OEM hooks for the cargo net or not net, but cargo um, shroud or a cover, the fabric one. So I took it off. I made a DIY, and I put I'll, I put a link on the description below as well. Um, but yeah, it's basically reinforced with epoxy and a wood stud, so or dowel, so it's a lot more stronger and can hold a lot more weight. What I also experimented with was raising the floor so I could put the spare tire underneath the floor, and that was a pretty awesome idea. But I'll have to do it a little later because by doing that, I can't put my folding bike in, which is a little taller. Um, it barely fits with a folding bike on there, and also you know even though it's nice that I could cover all my tools and stuff underneath the the floor i can't really i like transporting five gallon buckets of stuff so usually i put stuff in five gallon buckets and travel that but yeah it doesn't fit a five gallon bucket i could probably put a four or five of them in but now with that with a um the cargo raise i can only put about three so behind the seats so not as convenient now i mentioned if i put my bike in there it won't work very well so my next thing was actually to make a um a cargo cover shelf <laughs> Now, there's a Volt shelf out there, I know that, and I was like, hmm, it probably won't make it before I go on my road trip, so I just might as well make one myself. So, you know, what I did was that I, it, it's so light that I could, you could sit on the current uh, net, and that's the plan, um, so I could reuse the net and stuff. So I measured it out, it's about, about 20 inches from the net um, point, because I want to keep the weight right on those hooks. And the overall length of the thing was about 37 inches. So it's a little long for the cover, but you know, I figured, eh, why not? I need to make something. And the boat shelf that I wanted to get, you know, where I could have got it, you know, was a little, it's it's basically, it can't be folded. So what I need to do is actually have something I could fold when I go on my road trip so I could put it away, so I could put in my large uh, cargo items in. And, you know, I need something that's compact. So what I do is I bought um, some uh, chiroplast, chiroplast. It's a like a plastic, um, cardboard and basically you know measured it in and you know measure the dimensions it was like 22 inches to that area and all the way to the back was another 20 something inches about 27 and it was um, it was like 25 inches or so so I just basically cut the corners off five inches in and to make those so two pieces of coral plast I leave the link below for the parts um, you'd probably need two pieces of those. You got the Walmart or, or maybe online or something. I'll leave some links below. You also need some rubbing alcohol and some Velcro. You don't need command tape Velcro. You just need regular Velcro. Um, that's actually to have the stuff stick around stuff. The alcohol is to clean up the chloroplast before to so make a better adhesion. So I got several pieces of chloroplast to try this thing out. So I measured it out. It fits pretty well. It does taper back to the back end of the car. So it tapers down to about what three sevenths no three quarters of an inch and the front part it's about an inch and a quarter roughly so it's not perfect so what i did was i i, I needed to fold anyways so those three pieces would have had to have been taken apart the velcro would have been crazy so i what i did was i made it look more of like a binder so i took some zip ties and my trusty sharp scissors poked a few holes and made myself a large binder using zip ties so that way it could fold and it could flex enough so that it could move the thing is that I want to make sure that if someone did, you know, break into my car or whatever else, you know, if they, they can't exactly just pull this out, like the glass window or whatever else. So there it is. That's about it for the prototype. Um, it's actually extremely light, so it could, light, uh, it could be right on the net, and it's foldable. And basically, I put a black cloth on top of it, and basically right now, I just have it uh, taped up to it. So it looks clean, but not exactly finished. 
but I, I didn't want to tape it all down because I want to be able to fold this out, use the cloth for something else, and in case I have larger cargo like bikes and stuff, so I cover that as well. So long story short is that that's what it looks like now. I leave it longer so I can actually cover even the boxes if I open this, uh, the, the canopy so I can block that. I made it even stronger by adding some tension rods. These rods are, uh, you, you, you basically, it's spring, kind of spring loaded. It's the ones you could get at Walmart or whatever else, and basically just I made it even a tougher shelf. So when I, when I'm traveling or road tripping, I basically use this as a real shelf and put stuff on top of it, and it could actually hold weight. So what I did was that I actually um, took out one of those uh, those disgusting weak hooks and basically put it right through it. It actually pushes against the plastic and against the both sides of the plastic, which makes it extremely strong and it's not going to move anywhere. Um, I do not recommend. I would take. In fact, I don't drive with those sticks on. I actually take those things off and only when I need it as a shelf. I would never want to put those things driving when, um, because you never know if an accident might happen, that thing might fly. So I have those rods taken off when I drive. Uh, in the back, I actually have it Velcroed. Uh, another piece of color pass Velcros it as a, um, as a hinge, which is pretty cool and it's very tough. So it basically hinges and Velcros the back. So normally it rides on the net as well as it rides on that Velcro in the back. So it's pretty cool. I also have a hook and a little bit of bungee cord so I could just hook and bungee and string on to the side um, shocks. So basically I could keep this thing up where I load stuff into my car, which is very, very convenient. Again, I also, another note was that it's just, I just want to keep it simple. These All these parts you could probably get off of a hardware store or something like that. So it's very, very simple. I also mounted it the, uh, the Velcro underneath, uh, about two inches underneath the, the back of the seats because there's a hard surface on the back of the seats. I really didn't want to damage my, my seats um, if this thing was to push forward. So anyways, that's really about it. Um, I put, like, there it is, basically the cover, the, the spare tire, the liner, and hopefully, you know, this is when, when it's all open and also it's been held up by the string. Uh, so you can still access it if you want. You don't have to have the rods there. I put the rods in the back where my umbrellas are. Please uh, like, subscribe, and hit the bell button for more cost. No, for more. Uh, show you both vlog and other stuff. I just bought myself a Honda Clarity, a 2018 Honda Clarity, and I look to make some videos off of that. I already got about 55 to two, actually I have already about 200 miles on my um, Clarity, and I'll make some more videos on that. See you next time.